Alberto Carvalho, who has led Miami-Dade County Public Schools since 2008 and is among the nation's most experienced and admired school district leaders, has emerged as the likely choice to become the next superintendent of the Los Angeles Unified School District, sources knowledgeable about the C. An announcement could be made as early as Thursday, and the Board of Education has scheduled a special meeting for 8 a.m. The hiring of the superintendent is listed on the agenda, but that's been the case in recent weeks as board members have interviewed and deliberated over candidates in a series. In coming to LA Unified, Carvalho, 57, would move from heading the fourth largest K-12 public school system in the country to the second, taking on one of the highest profile and most challenging posts in public education. School board members reached by the Times declined to comment. Carvalho is credited in the Miami-Dade district with providing stable leadership and improved academic performance, and creating special programs that offer more schooling choices for parents. In Los Angeles, he would immediately have to confront a school district where many students have long struggled to achieve and were further set back, academically and emotionally, by the COVID-19 pandemic. In enticing Carvalho to change coasts, the Los Angeles Board of Education would accomplish something that New York City, the nation's largest school system, could not. In 2018, Carvalho agreed to take the New York job, then back out one day later on live TV, announcing his decision to stay in Miami. Carvalho is part of a candidate field that sources have said includes well-regarded insiders with significant leadership experience, notably interim superintendent. Megan Riley Chief Academic Officer Allison Yoshimoto Tauri and Regional Administrator Francis Baez. Joan Sullivan, Chief Executive of the Nonprofit Partnership for Los Angeles Schools, which operates 19 campuses under contract with L Unified, is also considered to be among the group. But it would be hard to match the resume or experience of Carvalho, viewed in South Florida as a charismatic leader with a trophy case that includes multiple Superintendent of the Year awards from various national and Florida organizations. His district also won the 2012 Broad Prize for Urban Education, signaling a thumbs up from the late Eli Broad and other critics of traditional school systems. The Miami-Dade district's grade on the state's accountability system has risen to an A. One of Carvalho's accomplishments has been keeping his superintendent post since 2008, more than an entire generation of K-12 students. With urban superintendents typically lasting three years or less, Carvalho's run in Miami defies the odds. Since Roy Romer's departure in 2006, L Unified has had eight permanent or interim school chiefs.